Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is how do I get past my partner sleeping with someone else during our one year break? Well, a lot of people know that I'm really not into taking a break in a relationship and mainly because I really feel that if you are with somebody for a certain amount of time and you need to take a break from them, there's something missing. You should be able to fix things within your partnership, not having to go outside and do it when you're not with them. Well, the problem with this is if you're taking a year break from somebody, that's a long freaking time. And you're going to meet other people and it's going to be romantic encounters that come into your life. So you have to be so open to be able to accept this. And the majority of people are not okay with it. And what I'm finding happens with a lot of clients I've spoken to and some of people on my advice column is it always seems to be one-sided. Whereas one person out of the partnership sleeps with somebody and the other one doesn't. So there's always that one person kind of left sitting here going, well, why did they sleep with somebody when we're just on a break? In my reasoning here, I would say that if you're on a break from somebody, you have free reigns. And if you don't want to have a break with them, say to them, we either work it out together as a couple or we break up. Because the problem with taking a break I feel that it's always just an excuse to either soften the breakup that's to follow or because some people want their cake and eat it too. They want to be able to have the best of both worlds because they're not quite ready to commit yet. If you're going to get yourself into a situation where you allow yourself to be on a break with a person that you love, you're asking for a little, little bit of drama to follow. If you're, if you're agreeing to taking a break, you have to be able to accept pretty much everything that goes with that because you're not with them. Now, unless you've got a guideline rule book and nobody's allowed to stray and do all these things, well, that's different. Then you probably wouldn't be asking the question here because it would have been a boundary that you had both established in your, you know, for outside of your partnership. But if somebody's going to sleep with somebody else, they come back and they're honest about it with you. Well, that's one thing. But you have to live with that. I, I just find the whole thing very complicated to put yourself in that situation because I don't think you're ever going to have that real trust moving forward because you're going to be thinking, I would love this person. We took a break to see if we could work on ourselves and whatever's going on in our lives and then come back together again. But if they're out meeting other people and having sex, well, then it makes you as the person asking this question feel that maybe you weren't as important in their life as you thought you were. So that's something to think about too when you're asking the question, how do I get over it? Maybe you won't get over it. Maybe it's just runs too deep for you with them having a, a, a connection with somebody else while you're supposed to be figuring out your lives. And that's where the problem comes in because a year is a long time. And it's a big expectation if you're going to take that break from each other for that length of time and not be romantic with someone else if the situation arises. I don't know if a lot of people that have taken a break, a long break, especially a year, got back together and everything works out just fine. If you've broken up and met again a couple of years later, yes, that can happen because you're not sitting there sort of attached to somebody at the time. You're doing your own thing and if you meet up again and you guys have figured your life out separately where you want to go and then you come back and it clicks, that's great. But I don't think someone should be sitting there on hold waiting for the other person to figure out what they want to figure out. I think it's just asking for trouble. I really do. But if you're wondering on how you can get over this and it's something that you're continually thinking about on a daily basis, I don't know if you're going to be able to get over it. I think there's always going to be a little bit of mistrust for you. There's going to be a bit of doubt about how much this person cares about you because they weren't going and trying to find themselves and figure out what's going on in their life. They were bringing somebody else into the mix, which confuses it even more because now there's three of you. 
this is the problem with having outside sex when you're on a break. It does bring other, other things into the mix. And that's where it can become a problem. Because then they might not even be over this other person. There might still be lingering stuff going on or they're still contacting each other. This is the big problem with taking a break is there's so many variables that can happen. So if you're going to do it, please like almost have a written down, you know, thing about what you both will be okay about and what is not acceptable. Otherwise, try and figure out your relationship while you're together, not when you're apart, because that's what a real relationship is. It's not running away because there's a few things missing or you just need some time to think about it. You work, you work on it together as a couple, because if you can't, you're not going to make it for the long haul anyway, even if you do get back together, because you're taking time away to try and figure things out by yourself when you're supposed to do it as partners. So in closing to this, this topic today, I, I just want you to really think about why you took the break. Was it a mutual decision? Was there something missing in your relationship? Were there some red flags you were worried about and you just needed some, you know, space away to figure it out? If there's that much of a question line in your relationship that you feel you have to take a break from them, majority of the time it's because there is something that isn't right between the two of you. And so rather than break up, you say, oh, well, they're in agreement, I'm in agreement, let's just do it. So everybody's out doing their own thing rather than working on what the actual problem is. So that's why I really, suggests that you really think about it. If you, both of you want to take a break, why do you want to take a break? How serious are the problems that you need to go to that place? That might help you make a decision on whether it's you want to take a break or you actually have sort of completed the term of your relationship and it's now not be really working for you anymore. Because it's a lot easier to understand that and decide that and walk away from it so that you can meet somebody that you're better suited for rather than keep it hanging on and hanging on and then have more stuff to deal with if you do get back together. So sometimes when we do get to the place of wanting to take a break, a lot of the times it's because our relationship is kind of on that, hmm, do we go up or do we end it, you know? And so people say, well, if we to have some space from each other. We'll see if we really miss each other and really want to be with each other. But that's not how a relationship works for the long haul. If you can get through things on a daily basis, communicate what's bothering you, what's great, all those things, and you're emotionally connected to each other, you don't need to do that. So think long and hard about it and please have your boundaries when it comes to deciding on whether you're going to do it because I don't think taking a break is for everyone and I do think it brings a lot of extra issues into the relationship if you get back together. Anyway, my thoughts there, I'm sure you'll write in and tell me yours, but thank you so much everyone for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe, I love it when you do. Please leave your comments and I'll be back next Wednesday with a new video. Thank you so much everyone, bye-bye.